for your presence, for your participation. Uh, as the title of today's this event is uh, EU Disinfo, that's an NGO uh, which is based in Brussels over here. Uh, that NGO published a report. Uh, the name of that report was uh, Indian Chronicles. Actually, for us, the problem was that we uh, 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 we do not have anything about that organization and about that report. But for us, the only problem is that that uh, that organization mentioned the names of some NGOs, uh, including the name of my NGO, including the name of Baruch White's Foundation, in such a paragraph, in such a, a way that we are. Uh, it pretends that these organizations who are working for human rights, who are raising the uh, issues of their people, so uh, that they are using the sentence which is a pro-Indian approach. Uh, so because of that, you know, it, uh, uh, for us, this is a defamation uh, of our people, defamation of our cause, defamation of our stand. If some one is labeling it with uh, with a particular state. Uh, actually, that, that struggle uh, uh, to which I am directly, you know, related, uh, that's Baluchistan, the issue of Baluchistan uh, is quite old and it uh, started when Pakistani forces occupied Baluchistan and since then the people over there, they are raising their voices. Uh, they have a uh, political view, they oppose uh, the occupation of their land, and there are abuse of human rights. So uh, we have been raising these issues uh, at different forums, including United Nations, Geneva, European Parliament, and, uh, and other forums and parliaments throughout the globe. We have been raising these issues that uh, a state which is com committing what they abuse of rights of people, enforced disappearances, killings, uh, uh, the way they are dominating the region, uh, uh, eliminating the people. So uh, uh, our aim, objective was, is and was to raise the, uh, those issues. And unfortunately, if any organization uh, 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 labels our discourse that that's uh, pro-Indian, and this is what the Pakistani forces, Pakistani army, they have been labeling us and killing us in, uh, by the same verdict that the approach, the point of view of Baloch people are in consensus with the uh, Indian point of view. So uh, because of that, our people are suffering. Because of that, our people have been eliminated. And unfortunately, after this report, the Pakistani media, Pakistani officials, including the Pakistani ISPR, that's the army you know, press release. So in that, they also showing this report, they, they, they labeled us as Indian agents. Uh, on behalf of this uh, report by presenting it to a different uh, uh, organizations in such a way that whatever the Pakistan was saying and this is true who, because this has been said by an uh, a European organization and uh, unfortunately they presented it uh, to the media particularly in the in Pakistani media and in the international media uh, in such a way that this report is a part of an investigation which was done by the European Union. Unfortunately, that is, uh, the, that is wrong. This is uh, an NGO. The name of the NGO is Eju Disinfo. So because of this name, many people think that it's an organization which is linked to the European Parliament. Uh, so that's not true. And secondly, whatever you know, uh, they have written. So uh, for me, mm, mm, the, the page 26, where they say that there are many organizations, many NGOs, uh, which make interventions at, in the uh, United Nations. Uh, so uh, uh, their interventions is a pro-Indian interventions. The word pro-Indian uh, is, is something that you cannot label anybody without any sort of evidences and, and uh, unfortunately this organization has not given any sort of evidences in his whole report or uh, particularly uh, the uh, particular with respect to the page 26 where they have mentioned names of many organizations political parties 
and in the same para they said that their uh, views uh, you can say should be raised at uh, international forums and these are genuine and credible organizations genuine people but on the other side they have you know uh, mentioned the word pro indian which is uh, uh, harming us which has uh, given us a lot of damage but particularly giving pakistan pakistani forces uh, is a sort of authority to eliminate these people to suppress these people because uh, whatever the pakistani stand was that and this paragraph you know is on the same lines on which pakistan has been uh, enabling us so today we have a very good uh, panel we have you know uh, 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 ngo representatives political parties uh, representatives organizations representatives uh, so these are the people they are very well aware about the uh, the baloch issue the other issues and they are also very well about those art they know very well uh, about those organizations uh, parties uh, whom have been struggling at UN and other forums for the rights of their people and there are also representatives of those organizations whose name has been mentioned in that report. So first of all, I give the floor uh, to respected Wajah Siddiq Azad Baloch. Uh, Wajah Siddiq Azad Baloch is the Secretary General of Baloch People's Congress. He has been presenting the Baloch issue at uh, uh, different forums, particularly at the United Nations, from a long time. He's a very senior Baloch. He has been in the Baloch struggle since his uh, childhood. He, he is a uh, journalist and he is a uh, author of Balochi books and he is also a linguist, very well known linguist in the Balochi language. So I request respected Wajah Siddi Azar Baloch, sir. Uh, the forum is with, floor is with you. Uh, 